friends, it's Mrs. McCarver, and it's time for today's writing lesson. Now, this week, you might have finished the beginning, the middle, and the end of your fiction story. So let's check out our writing process and see if we did these steps. First, we did our planning. Yep, we did that last week. Then we drew and wrote. Our steps were to draw and write. We did the beginning, the middle, and the end. But guess what? Today I've added another step. I've added number four, add details. Details are the things that make our stories even better. Sometimes we need to add details in the pictures, and sometimes we need to add details in the words. So today I'm asking that you go back and see what you might need to add to your pictures and your words. I know, oh my gosh, this page, the details in this picture, there's not a lot of them. It was supposed to be the hallway at school, but it's really hard to tell that that's a hallway because it's just a bunch of boxes. So I think I'm going to add some details to that picture. Another thing you could add to, to your words is another sentence or about how your character's feeling. In the beginning, I said Princess Pig is taking the bus to school. Was she excited? Was she happy? Was she nervous? How was she feeling? That's a detail I might want to add. So today I'm going to add a couple details to my writing and then you'll have time to add to yours. All right, friends. So today we're talking about adding details. So I can add details to my pictures or to my words. For example, look at this picture of my school bus. Ah, a detail I might want to add is the steering wheel. And you can see the driver here. Because we want a driver on our school bus, right? And maybe I'm going to add some more pictures here to, I mean, some more details here. This is the road. The school bus is on the road. And there's trees here by the school. Maybe they have a big flagpole out front because I know lots of schools do. There's their school flag. Okay. Now let me add some details to my words. I said, Princess Pig is taking the bus to school. I think I want to tell my readers how she feels about that. She is excited. So I'm going to add another sentence. She is excited. And you know what? I'm going to use some special punctuation, an exclamation mark. Let me try again. I definitely need to add some details to this picture. This is a picture of the hallway, but it's very plain. So I'm going to add some doors. Maybe the door is open. There's a window. Room one. Here's my next door. Right there, classroom window. Room two. And my last door is room three and maybe I'm gonna put a backpack on Princess Pig because she's going to school. There's your strap on that side. She's got to keep her lunch and everything in there, right? There's your backpack and maybe there's other people in the hall. Maybe there's a little dog. Walking to find their class. And that dog is sad because he's nervous. And, oh, you know who else goes to the school? A little mouse scurrying off to find their class. Oh, they got to hurry there. So I added some details to that picture. Now it's much more interesting. And you can see that they're at school. Princess Pig looks for her classroom. Hmm, what could I add to that? What could I add to the words there? She likes school. She likes school. Now I've added more details to my pictures and to my words. 
Okay, friends, I work to add some details to my pictures and to my words. I want you to get your writing back out and see what else you can add to make your story even better. This is a time when you might want to add some color to your pictures, too. I know you friends like to color those pictures.